Hello ladies, this is Stacy with Stacy's Crafty Jam and I am so excited. Happy New Year. Uh, excited to start another design team project for Line.Arrow. Uh, we're in January 2023 and I'm just too excited. I know everybody's got resolutions and goals and, and this, that, and the other and uh, I don't know, do you guys have a word that you, uh, you know, like a word of the year or your word for the year? Uh, I'll share with you that mine is awakening. I want to awaken my creativity. I want to awaken my confidence. Uh, you know, I got I got so many uh, things that I want to do as far as awakening myself, and um, uh, and I I want to put my all into these design team projects. I love working with Line Dot Arrow Papers. It, it, it they are hands down. Uh, I mean, just outstanding. And uh, we're working with this Vintage Slim Journal Collage Pages Kit. 20 pages in this kit. And I've done a flip through um, on, uh, you know, in a, in a uh, like a live video that I've done. Uh, but let me flip kind of quick. Uh, you know, for those of you who, who missed that, these pages are gorgeous. Uh, love this page. Love it with the bingo card and the little girl. Uh, the, the pages are breathtaking. This blues on this page. Love this little ledger page. Look at this. Look at that stamp. She has the best images that she collages. Love that. It says cologne on there. Love, love, love it. Um, the pansy. Oh my gosh. Ah, love it. Uh, the pinks. And then this one says, Love like the dawn came stealing song. Uh, looks like it's an advertisement, I guess, for a, a musical or something. Or music by Charles Wakefield Cadman. I love that. Uh, the the I think this is this is just more of the repeat. Uh, more pages that are printed, and then the ephemera is back here. Where did she go? And the ephemera starts here. And there's uh, she's great about these tags. The different uh, these like I guess a medium size tag. The uh, pocket pages or the angled pockets. Uh, get four of those. These envelopes, you get two of those, and they're all in the gorgeous, gorgeous papers. And then here's more tags, and these are like your your sideways tags. I've got some really cool ideas on these, and uh, loving these, loving these a lot. Then she's got these, uh, I guess these are around two inch, maybe maybe two and a half uh, inch medallions. Um, yeah, they're two inch medallions, or circles, and they're gorgeous. Love them. The journal cards, oh, I love that font. Uh, you know, she, oh, look at that carnation. I love it. And then here's some more of the, the the larger size tags with the scallop top. I love this little element here where the text is making out like a like a lay of a vase. Love that. Then here's your smaller medallions. Uh, looking like those are about a one inch. Those journal cards that are smaller. But then here's some newer, uh, some new items. Uh, more cards. This little girl, gorgeous. And, uh, but that's a quick flip of the kit, and I am just too happy to be working with this kit. Uh, it's a slim journal kit, so, you know, maybe, they're, they're, so you're printing in a portrait, uh, not a landscape, and so you can make a slim journal, you know, but play with the papers and make whatever you want. What I'm making for my design team is a envelope tag book, and you've got to connect, this is, I've already connected the first two here, and, um, uh, this will be like the cover, and then this is page one, and then we'll take, I'm going to take six of these envelopes, and I'm going to connect them together, and then this will fold over, and it will create a spine here, and then I'll reinforce that spine, and um, uh, it, because I also, it's going to hold tags, and I'm going to make access for the tags at the top of the envelope. And then I also want to put uh, a small, maybe maybe a five-page folded in half, maybe ten-page little uh, journal spot in there. And that's uh, I got this um, idea from a lady on YouTube. I think, oh Lord help me, I think it was crafting by Norma. It may be crafting with Norma, but um, I got I got this idea from her. Uh, she. Um, but hers was a little different, and I'm adapting mine to to what you know to what I want to do, 
And But your main thing on connecting these uh, envelopes together is making sure that you're, you're even. You know, here on the right side on the, you know, you don't want, you don't want them, unless you wanted to make a waterfall one, you know, I guess, I guess. I don't know how that, that might work out. But, um, uh, but I'm going to connect these. I thought I would hop on and introduce my project and uh, show off the kit and, uh, and, you know, and just connect these envelopes and kind of show you the construction. I'm using art glitter glue, show you the construction of this project uh you know it's going to be pretty pretty blooming cool i think and uh i'm always trying to you know come up with uh, I, I thought about making a slim journal but i'm always trying to you know personally i like to i like to to think outside the box you know and i thought and i love making tags so we're still still good and even here and uh, but i like to think outside the box and i love making tags and I thought, well, why don't I make a tag book? And uh, the papers will fit really nice, uh, you know, size-wise, with this um, envelope thing. I got these envelopes from Walmart. And I, honestly, I'd, I'd missed them for the longest because they were on the very tippy-top shelf. And they're like a five-and-a-half or five-and-three-quarters by about an eight, um, by, you know, by about an eight, eight and a half, you know, and, um, yep, we're looking good, and, um, but, yeah, let me, let me look at this, five and three quarters, yeah, by, by about eight, eight and a, about eight, and, um, uh, so they're, they're pretty good large size envelopes. I was thrilled when I saw them at, at Walmart. Now, I don't know if for you guys that are overseas, uh, you know, I'm in Texas, USA. I don't know if y'all have Walmarts. Do they have Walmarts in, in the UK? And, uh, I mean, I know they have something. So, because um, uh, you guys got craft supplies that, I mean, I'm jealous of it sometimes. Loving y'all's craft supplies. But, um, uh Anyway, I that's where I if you're if you're wondering that's where I got that's where I got these envelopes, and I may oh I did good, so I'm I'm just making sure the whole point of this is making sure that I'm 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 good to go, you know all the way around, and then see how this folds over and it makes this tiny spine here. It's not much. And then I'm going to reinforce that with um, either I'm going to, I don't know, I, either I'm going to use some, I, I thought about some fabric. I took off that little strip that's there. Now, to create, but let me let me stop where I'm talking about. To create this now, we want, we want to put glue along here. And so that it adheres to the spine. So let's put glue there. Then we're putting more glue here. And I act like I've, I've done this before. <laughs> I hadn't done it before. This is my... But, you know, it's a relatively simple project here. You know, it's not like rocket scientry. And, uh, but, you know, the, the, the simple things are sometimes, you know, the best things, you know. And, but I like to, to inform you, you know, like about adding that glue to the spine there. And so I think I got all that good, good to go. I'm going to get my bone folder. And I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take my bone folder. And I'm going to push it up against the spine there and as I do that I'm going to fold over a little bit and that was just my thinking on how to how to do this project well hello Fiona the little cat's all oh that cat she's she's been not not around until I turn on the camera okay so let's look let's look at this see what I've done 
Yep, yep. Probably have to ink a little more right here. I can see that now because that, that spine curved out there. But you know, I, here I am inking it, and <laughs> truthfully, uh, I'm covering it up. I don't even know why I'm doing that. So forget it, forget that part. Forget what I said. So we've got that page, and then this has the strip, that little adhesive strip on it. Stop, Fiona. And, um, and this is gonna be covered. We're not gonna worry about, we could access this here, you know, if you wanted to make yours that way, but I plan to cover this, cover, cover all of the envelopes, and then I'm going to create um, ways by which I put my tags in this way. I'm going to put some going in this way, but this is all going to be covered, so we won't have an opening here. And then, uh, and then I'll probably do one coming this way. And then maybe a maybe this this time I'll go down at the bottom with my with my opening, and what I'll and let me I'll show you in just a second, and then but see there's my little ta there's my little envelope book, and that's the basic construction is done, but I want to make a, a side flip on. Do I want it? Let's let's decide. Yeah, I'm gonna do it on the front on the front page, so, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Um, I'm going to adhere it here like so and then the tags are going to be coming from the top there. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So let's adhere this to the front to the front cover. I feel like I haven't explained this very well. I don't know. Since this is a new project for me, I mean, it's kind of one of these things where I'm just going, I'm making it up as I go. But I think the end result, you know, because of course you can't go wrong with those papers. They're gorgeous. No, Fiona. Oh, she's shaking the camera. Sorry, guys. Stop, baby. Oh, goodness, that cat. Um, but you can't go wrong. They're, your pages are going to be gorgeous. Because the papers are beautiful. But, um, okay, so this is the front page, and I want to adhere this. Where do I want to put it at? So we're going to put it, I'll just put it there. Quit shaking the camera. All right. So there's, this will be a flip out, and there's going to be tags going in there. So, and I'm, I'm not going to do a flip there. And then, and then right here is where uh, a journal is going to go. And then we'll do that. And then here is the back one. So why don't I just do a flip on the front and a flip on the back? What Or, or should I just go it? I don't know. Let's do one here. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's do that. So that's, that's my plan. I'm going to put one on the second to last page. Instead of, you know, bookending it with a flip in the front and a flip in the back page, or black back cover, so to speak. So I'll I'll do something new and put it on the second to last page. And I can always add flips. So let's bring this back over here. And all right, and there's going to be a flip there, but we're going to cover all of these pages. Stop now. I'm sorry, guys. My cat is deciding now. She's over here pawing at me. She wants to play. <laughs> of course, I turned her the camera on. She wants to play. If you want to stop. We'll play in a minute. So I'm going to put this top on here because I don't want this glue to dry up. But that is my construction of my project. And then we're going to cover it with these gorgeous papers. And so there you have it. So we're going to have tags going in up here. 
And I'm not going to create my notches just yet because I want to cover them, then create the notch. Couldn't, doesn't that make sense? You know, because if I cut the notch now, then I'm going to have to worry about getting my paper around the notch. So the smarter way to go, and I try to work smart <laughs> on, on occasion, uh, is to cover, then create my notch, and then I'll cut with scissors a, a sliver here, and that'll have my opening. And I hope all that makes sense. So we'll have tags going in here. We're going to have tags going in here. I'll probably have my, I'll cover it, and I'll probably put my notch with my, with my circle punch here, and I'll have a tag going in here, and then, and then I'm also going to put pockets with tags. I mean, this, this thing's going to be filled with tags. Tag, 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 tags. And, uh, and then we'll have that journal in here. I need to reinforce my spine, and I'll, I might, I have this medical tape. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. I have this medical tape that I used on another project. And it's athletic tape. And it takes... I, I don't want to use washi because it doesn't take ink very well. But this cloth tape takes ink really well. And I'm going to reinforce my spine. Why don't we just do that? Since we're on, let's just do it. Let's do it. All right. Let me cut this straighter. So I get a straight edge going. And then I'll, I'll do my spine. Somebody's sending me messages. Can y'all hear it? This stuff is sticky, but I'm going to also uh, put some, put a little bit of glue down. And, but I want to get this cut just right. So, there's my piece. If I can get it off my fingers. Okay. Let me get my glue back out. I'm going to... Where's the front of my book? Oh, this is the front. Yes. So, let's see. Let me put some glue here. I may have to end up putting more glue. But I'm just right... For right now, I'm going to do that. And then, we're going to put half of this tape on here like so because this tape takes um, take like I said it takes ink really well you know so that's how come for me to think uh, hey I'm gonna use that so I'm gonna put some glue here I didn't really get half, but it'll be good. And it's real sticky, but, you know, I like to be safe. So I'll just put a little glue down and make sure that it's going to stick for me. So, and I'm going to bump it up against this spine here. And now, I'm reinforced. Yeah. That'll work. And then that gives me a pretty good reinforcement. I don't know if y'all have ever used that cloth tape. But it worked out really good on that folio I made. And then it's going to be covered up anyway. But, um, you know, I it, like, look. It takes the ink really good. Because it's it's a cloth, it's a cloth tape. So I've I've reinforced that, and so I want to got one, two, three. I want to reinforce here too. So let's do it again. Ready? Let 
measure this or get this just right. Good. Y'all can hear me getting quiet. You know I'm I'm busy. Okay. When does Stacy get quiet? <laughs> Hardly ever. Okay. I'm just gonna put the glue right, right on the right on the tape. It's, not, it's easier said than done. Okay. All right, and then I'll put a strip of glue down here. You know, it did take a lot because it's already sticky. But I'll, I just want to make sure that it that it stays. So then I'm going to find my center. And if I have to do some trimming, I can. So there's that. I'll trim a little bit there. And then I've got a reinforced uh, spine there that I can... See how I need a little trim there? Okay. Let me look at this one. And I've got, there we go. I think we're good. We need to trim just a little hair here. There we go. That looks good. All right. And then we'll fold this. And then the good thing about this cloth, this little athletic tape, is it folds easy, and it takes the the ink, and uh, it it it's it's I like it. It's it's a good it's a good option, and um, I might reinforce here too because see you just got. Should I reinforce each one each page? I wonder. I'll think on that, but see because I'm actually sewing a journal in here. Uh, you know, a little small journal, I definitely wanted to reinforce. But as I'm thinking about this now, I'm wondering, do I need to reinforce everything? I might. I'm thinking I might. Because the more I go to flip, 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 yeah, okay, I've talked myself into that. I am going to reinforce everything. But I'm not going to make you watch all that. <laughs> because it's like watching paint dry. So, but anyway, that is my construction of my project. I wanted to introduce it, show you my kit, and, uh, you know, just do a video for two, uh, 2023. Uh, I've missed y'all, and I thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for, uh, you know, for watching me and for supporting me. You're, you guys mean the world to me. I, I, have, I have just been blessed, blessed by you. If you happen to not be a subscriber to Stacy's Crafty Jam, I would, I would be honored uh, if you would uh, subscribe to, to my channel. Uh, hit like if you liked this video. And let me show you something else I made here. Here's a tag I made just special using the papers. And also, this ephemera is part of Line.Arrow. She has an ephemera kit. And I'll put that link down below, too. Oh, my gosh, this ephemera kit is amazing. But I made the tag on her pretty paper and uh, used the creamy, a creamy cardstock and just collaged a tag. And then, look, this tag is going to fit perfect inside one of these pages. See how it, it's a perfect fit? I made an extra, extra, extra large tag. And then here's a little cluster that I made that I thought could be a pocket on uh, one of the pages. And uh, and then here is, I, I want to use this maybe on my on my cover as a side, as a side little cluster thing. And uh, anyway, that's just some ideas. Just showing you off, showing off the ideas and, uh, you know, saying hi and happy, happy new year. Thank y'all so much, and I will see y'all in the next video.